Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you have any doubts, please ask in the comment section or uh, as well as you can able to ask me directly in our Instagram page, which is in our support section, which is in our support section as well as the description in this video. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to teach you about the structure of insects abdomen as well as its appendages. So, so the abdomen is nothing but the third tagma or else the posterior tagma of the insect body. So the tagma is which is mainly made up of 9 to lower uromus. Uromus is nothing but we can be able to call it simply as segments which is said to be highly flexible in nature. So the abdominal segments are said to be telescopic in nature and are interconnected by a membrane called conjugate conjunctiva so just remember that conjunctiva is said to be a interconnecting membrane in the insect body which is especially in the abdomen so the each abdominal segment is made up of the two sclerites which is namely known as the dorsal body plate as well as the ventral body plate which is known as tergum as well as the sternum so these are the words you must need to remember in this lecture so i have given the cross-sectional view of the insect body in this picture so uh, based on that I have just given an example of grasshopper which so the each pair of spiracles are present in first eight segments in addition to a two pairs of tympanum in the first, first segment so the eighth and ninth abdominal segments are said to be have the female genital structures and the ninth segment is said to be only consist of male genital structures in the male insects so these segments are known as the genital segments so in female which is eighth and ninth as well as in male which is just the ninth one so the abdominal appendages in adult are said to be the genital organs as well as the cerci which is the abdominal final uh, eighth to eleventh one so it's how the picture you can able to understand that so in eighth and ninth which is said to be the females one as well as in a ninth which is one of males one and the remaining which is known as the tenth and eleventh are said to be known as the cerci so they use it to have a oviposition position as well as oviparact as well as ventral valve or intervalve and a dorsal valve so where the anus as well as the other genital matters are said to be done so i have given deep pictures in this one So it's how the grasshopper of abdomen male one. So the rim before one is said to be the female one, and in male, so up to the eighth segment there are said to be spiracles, and in ninth one there is a male genital characters, and tenth and eleventh where you can able to see the circus as well as the subgenital plate in the grasshopper. So you can able to see the difference of female abdomen and male abdomen in this one. So they use it to have a woe pushed on side in this female one as well as in male one they used to have circus and the subgenital plate so up to the eighth one they use it to have spiracles but in female one they use it to have up to the seventh one so they up accordingly a female grasshopper use it to have a long abdomen than the male one because they use it to have a four pointed tip called woe posture so it's where the female genital mouth part is used to occur so the o position is also used for the laying of eggs and the end of the grasshopper abdomen you can able to determine which one is male as well as which one is female by seeing its abdomen so i have to just give one for your identification so the upper one sorry so the upper one is said to be the female as well as in the lower one which is said to be a male you can able to identify so after that there are sub to be some of the modification which is said to be done on different insects so the detection in number of abdominal segments has taken place in many insects for example in springtail they used to have only six segments are present in housefly they used to have two to five visible segments and the remaining six to nine are said to be telescope which is said to be shortened due to the environmental changes with the others so and in cune termite mating the abdomen becomes gradually swollen but 
due to the enlargement of ovaries so the abdomen said to be bloated as a result of sclerites and eventually isolated on small islands so the obesity of abdomen of cune termite is known as pisogastri so just to use it to remember the, the obesity of abdomen of cune termite is known as pisogastri and in uh, insects like ants bees and wasps the first abdominal segment is fused to the metathorax which is known as propodeum as well as the second one which is a narrow petiole and the rest of the abdomen is said to be known as gaster so you can able to remember that so while seeing the uh, functions of the abdomen so they are mainly used for the reproduction as well as the metabolic activity of the insect so we can able to known as well as call the metab abdomen as the metabolic center as well as the reproduction center of the insect so the abdominal appendages which is present in the insects are so the pregenital abdominal appendages in wingless insect are the styli colopore or ventral tube or glupe and the reticulum or tentacle which is uh, under the furcula or furca so these are the abdominal appendages you can able to see so uh, first one we are going to see the pregenital abdominal appendages like in wingless insect you can able to see the styli so you can able to i can able to give an example of the silver fish so they are used to have a varying number of pad tubes which is found in the outgrowth on the ventral side of the abdomen in silver fish they used to have a reduced abdomen legs which is helpful in the locomotion so in this picture you can able to see so this reduced leg which is known as the stylus as well as they are known as the bilateral spikes which is used for the locomotion in the silver fish are and the second one is the colophoral or ventral tube uh, which is also known as the glue pipe so it is said to be located in the ventral side of the first abdominal segment of springtail it is said to be cylindrical in shape it is protruded but the hydrostatic pressure of hemolymph is said said to be major factor for the protrudement of the ventral tube it may serve as the organ of adhesion as well as it aids in the water absorption from the substratum and also in the respiration of the silver fish and the third one which is reticula or a tentacle as well as which is also known as the catch it is present on the ventral side which is also known as the third abdominal segment of the insect so it is useful for holding the spring organs which when not is been which is not in use it was the major use and the furcula which is said to be y shaped organ which is also present on the ventral side of the fourth abdominal segment which is also known as the fourth one so when it is released from the catch it exerts as a force against the substratum and the insect is propelled in the air so the columbola appendage uh, abdominal appendages you can able to see the insect columba so the colospore which is present in the first abdominal segment as well as the furcula which is said to be formed in this one and the reticulatum which is said to be in the first to fourth abdominal segment you can able to see and the thoracic region as well as the abdomen are said to be connected in these insects so the abdominal appendages in immature insects uh, like tracheal gills anal papillae prolex dolichaster urgomorphi anal horn and the scoli so these are said to be modified due to the environmental changes over millions and millions of years so the first seeing yeah, tracheal gills gills are said to be the lateral outgrowths of the body wall which is rich richly supplied with the trachea which is used for obtaining oxygen from the aquatic insect which is used for obtaining oxygen in the aquatic insects so it's how they mainly use the tracheal gills are how they mainly used and they used to have seven pairs of filamental gills which are present in seven sections of abdominal segment which is also known as nade or mayfly and are, which are lateral called as lateral gills they used to form two or three leaf like gills which are known as lamet and the fourth in they used to have abdomen of nade of damsel fly and are known as which is also known as the caswell gills and in dragon flies they are known as the rectal gills which where the abdomen used to seem like a pouch like structure in which is also like a rectum 
so I've given the images of the tracheal gills and the anal papillae so it is a group of four papillae around the anus of the mosquito larva which is so you can able to think the mosquito larva in water so the papillae are concerned for the salt water regulation in its in the insect mosquito larva and Dorchester so they are found in the abdomen of ant lion grub so the Dorchester is called a segmented protuberant fingered with the CT so they use it to have a cone like stripened structures fringed so you cannot be able to say to tell it as cone they use the fringed structures on the side of the walls so it's how you can able to see and the products they are present in the larvae moths and butterfly so there are on two to five pairs are normally present in, in them and they are unsegmented thick and fleshy and the tip of the products are mainly called as the planta which are bond heavily and sclerotic looks and which are also called as the crotchets they aid in crawling as well as clinging to the surface of the plant or some other things so it's how the prolex which is found on the abdomen so the prolex are said to be found in the thoracic region and the prolex i have already told you they use it to have a clinging surface type structures it's how they are done so we can able to see the monarchy butterfly caterpillars the prolex so the crotchets which is a yeah, clinging structure which is used for them to cling on the surface of plants as well as other stuptons so the urgomophy which is said to be the ninth tergum which is found in the red flower beetle so the u they used to form a u-shaped structure in the ninth abdomen and the caudal horn as well as the anal horn which is said to be mainly found in the spinget larvae at its lost abdomen so it's an extra one and the scoli which is said to be found in the slug caterpillar as well as in the hairy caterpillar they used to have bristle like structures on the body sur surface of the abdomen so after seeing that we can be able to see about the abdominal appendages in, in winged adults which is chronicle scarlet breathing tube cerci median caudal filament, pygostal and anal style and over posters. So after that the abdominal appendages in wing adults, the chronicles, the apids which used to have a pair of short tubes known as the chronicle or spingonical projectile from dorsum of fifth or sixth abdominal segment. So they used to permit to escape from the waxy fluid which perp which serves as the production from the protective predators it's how they are used it in the winged adults and the caudal breathing tube so which you can be able to see in the water scorpion they are said to be consist of a two grooved filaments which are closely applied to forming a hollow tube and the apex of the abdomen for the breathing and the cerci which is a circus which most complex appendages associated normally with the 11th abdominal segment so they are mainly used for the sensory function of the insects so they can be differently classified as well as the moderator and change it due to the environmental changes for example long and many segmented and longer and unsegmented and short with many segmented like in cockroach and as well as the short and unsegmented in grasshopper so they even though they used to have sclerotizing and forcep like structures which is known as the ear found in the earwig they are mainly used for the defense as well as the the capturing of prey and the asymmetrical cerci which is said to be a abnormal one which is found in the male epidate so the left circus is longer than the right as well as function for the collapsing organ during the copulation process so I have given the images of the cerci so which is short and unsegmented one in the cockroaches so I have given the different types of cerci and their lateral views so in simple cerci they use it to have a tip of up to of male retrocost and the segmented one in the abdomen view of male periplanta as well as the asymmetrical ventral view of the tip of the abdomen of male envy which is known as embioptera as well as the sexual dipormic which is said to be known as male and female earwig forceps serpi which is found in the dermoptera they are used for the I have given the sexually dimorphic classification so where the right 
leptine one is the male they use it to have a shorter one and the female they use it to have a tergus uh, circus which is longer than the male one so you can able to classify them from the dermaptera family so it was the fair of serpi which is used in the earwig for their protection as well as the prey capturation and the medicardal filament so it is finally found in the mayfly which is a wingless insect silverfish and also in the wingless sil insect silverfish so they are used to have a elongated caudal filament which is used for the respiration and the pygostyles which is a unsegmented sexy like structure which is found in the abdominal segment of scolid wasp and the anal styli which is a styli which is unsegmented one found in the cockroaches abdomen of male uh, cockroaches and the oopusters which is said to be found in the modification of female insects they are used for the laying of organs in female insect which is known as oopuster it is suited for lay eggs in precise microhabitats and used to have a wide different diversity and forms when they use when the oopuster sites are used to have a short and horny one um, in short horned grasshopper as well as long and swarm like structure in catlets long horned grasshopper and needle like in crickets and uh, even though the oopuster are modified into sting like structure where you can able to see that in the worker honey bees so which is used for the production so the short and horny structure i have given the picture uh, which is a short horned grasshopper as well as the needle like structure one in cricket as well as the oopuster which is the eighth and ninth segment which is used for modification of sting which is used for the production and the long and swarm like structure in cat cat it so the oopuster places egg shells which is a uh, they use to place their eggs in the inside of caterpillar so and the pseudo oopuster so an appendicular oopuster which is lacking of fruit which is said to be lacking in fruit flies and house flies so these are said to be known as the false oopuster sites in insect so in fruit flies the elongated abdomen which is used to have a sharp point with the fly piercing the rind of fruit before depositing the eggs it's how the oopuster structure used to occur in the house flies the tail used to have a terminally abdominal segment for telescopic segments which is aid in the oopuster so the oopuster of house fly is said to be known as the pseudo oopuster as well as the ovis cap or uh, well as the ovi tubes but uh, according to me it is said to be known as the fall, false false oopuster site uh, after that after knowing that in main gelatia they used to have sexual sexual organs of male insects are confined to obtained only in the ninth segment so while seeing in damsel fly they used to have a functional copulatory organs in the present of venter of second abdominal segments so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or well as join us in the instagram account which is in the description as well as in the about section of the youtube channel so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bs agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i will catch up in next videos